Hello everybody, so today I want to show you my World War I German gas mask. Now you may realize that I've already done this review once, about roughly a year ago. Now I don't really like the way that video was, I don't like some of the things I said in it. So I decided I'm going to redo it and put some more insight on this gas mask. Now this is a US vet bring back, this was brought back by a US veteran after the First World War. As you can see here on the bottom, it has the soldier's name that brought it back. So considering this item is over 100 years old, there is noticeable paint missing along with a few dents. As you can see, there are two dents here and here, as well as on the side here and here. And the paint is missing from this side all the way around to the back. But that is where the gas mask would have been sitting on the soldier who was wearing it. And last but not least about the canister, as you can see, it still does have the straps. The straps are still you know, pretty flexible and stuff. It also has the bottom strap down there. Now, before we look at the gas mask itself, I will uh, show you all the replacement lenses it comes with. It comes with a few of them. So many, in fact, that uh, they don't all fit under the little metal wire right there. See though, there are six sets of replacement lenses, each of these packs containing two, which only four of them can actually fit into the designated spot with the aluminum wire to hold them in there while the other two just have to sit on top of all those. As you can see, they have writing on them, although I cannot read it because I cannot speak nor read German. As you can see, there are a few spots that do have mold on them, unfortunately, although that is expected with these being 100 years old. I would also like to state that the paint inside of the gas mask canister is in amazing shape as well. Getting around to the gas mask itself, overall, it's in very good condition. As you can see, the leather is still very malleable and flexible. It also has... The string right here which you do not see as much on these because these are very thin strings that are just made to loop through this and connect to a button which is on the back of the strap right here to hold the filter up getting around to the back of the mask as you can see i do have some plastic bags in there to help it hold its shape while i show it off the straps are still in very good shape this is still very flexible and stretchy although i'm not going to attempt it as to not risk breaking the mask, but you can see it is in very good shape overall. In here, we can actually see the soldier's name, the original soldier who owned this, written right here, as you can see, along with the neck strap still being in very good shape as well. So getting around to the filter itself, as you can see on the top, it does have some stamping right in here. There's a little bit of corrosion around the edges of it, mainly up in this top area. Right here is the soldier's name that captured it again. Right here, this is a little bit harder to see, but this is stamped into the filter itself. The inside of it is totally rusted. I mean, I would not want to put this on and breathe through it, but you don't want to do that with these old masks anyway. You can see here, there's a little bit of the retaining paper that actually sealed this filter before it was uh, opened up and used. This mask also does have a stamp right here, 144, which is probably the serial number of this gas mask along with a3 right there but as you can see here i have removed the plastic bags from the back of it that helped it hold its shape and this is usually how it would sit in the canister last but not least here are the spider lenses which is what they're often referred to because they look pretty similar to a spider web of a sort but with all that out of the way, let's put it back in this canister and end the video. So a little bit more about this gas mask. This gas mask is probably one of the more famous ones. It is also one of the best working ones due to it having a replaceable filter. They didn't require the filter to be taped on or sealed with any type of glue or tape, which is really what makes this such a good gas mask overall. Anyway, though, I will see you in the next one. Have a great day and happy collecting.